G'day, g'day guys, welcome to another another video. Now, this one, I'm going to warn you straight off the bat, is a little bit long. Now, the reason it's a little bit long, I have sped it up a fair bit, but I'm down to literally using up the last of my 6x6 Mega Pad. And I decided last minute that I would do a double page spread. Now, I knew this was going to be quite busy and quite, I don't know, I guess it it's definitely my style, but it's very, um, I wanted to use up as much of the paper pad on this double page layout as possible. So, all of that said, disclaimer out there, let's, this video is going to be a little bit more chitty chatty than normal. So, if you don't like the chitty chatty style, I apologize. Feel free to mute me and, and, um, yeah. Anyway, apologies if you can hear the sneezing in the background. Now, I do want to draw your attention to something that I don't know why I haven't thought of this before, but have a look at how I'm doing. I'm cutting like four or five sheets at a time. Why did I not think about putting a bulldog clip on the end of it? holding it in place instead of trying to somehow MacGyver a third hand on there to do it. Like, I don't know why I've never done that before. FYI, it's a great tip. Use it in future. If you want to cut two sheets and you want to keep them exactly in the same spot the whole way, just whack a bulldog clip on the end of it. Honestly, it worked a treat. <laughs> I don't know why I never thought of doing that before. But from me to you with love. Okay. So, what am I scrapping? I'm scrapping a sequence of photos. So, quite often, especially with Jennifer, when I do when I do take photos of her doing different gymnastics-y things, I quite often take a sequence of photos. And one photo doesn't always serve well. Like, I need to kind of have a sequence of them for it to make sense. So that's what I'm doing on this layout. And I thought this way I can actually put, I think there's 12 photos across the two pages. Had I thought about this a little bit earlier, I maybe would have printed them maybe three by four, but it's okay. I think they still work. And this is super boring watching me separate all these different patterns into some kind of order that I wanted them in. But because I try and pride myself on not skipping over bits, I wanted to leave it all in here to show you that I scrap the same as you do. I still, I have a very simplistic way of looking at things sometimes and everything's just a process. If you look at a page, you might look at somebody's page, like I'm just trying to think, I mean, you could look at mine, but if you look at someone like, um, I'm trying to think of somebody off the top of my head. Um, it doesn't really matter whose page you look at. I'm, I'm, I'm literally stumped for a name. Can you believe that? If you, it doesn't matter if they use cut files. It doesn't matter if they don't use cut files or if they use die cuts or however they decide to put their page together. It's all just one process after another process after another process because this is something that a few people have made comment to me and they've sort of said to me how do you think of these things now i want to be on, i, I want to be a hundred percent transparent i find my inspiration from the most unusual places i am one of these if you met me down the street, I literally wear black pretty much all day, every day. That is what I wear. Um, I, and I've done that since my kids were little because I absolutely hated washing sticky fingerprints or chocolatey fingers off my clothing. And so I switched over to wearing black and guess what? I still do it. I don't know why. It's just a habit. It's one less thing for me to think about. Now, Putting everything into 
into order and, you know, getting my, my brain to think of things during the day. One of the things, now I've never been diagnosed with anything, well I have, but not, <laughs> I'm just, sorry, having a chuckle at myself there. I have, but not, you know, not ADD, not ADHD, not any anything along those lines. I process things in a very step-by-step -step process. That's what I do. I look at things in a very simplistic way. I break things down and it allows me to make things look quite complicated, but they're not. They're really, really not. And that's what I wanted to draw your attention to with this particular layer. Now, I've gone around, I'll just, every so often I'll just draw your attention back to what you're actually looking at. So, all of these strips are going to go on here, but they're all going to go on there in a sort of haphazard way. I didn't want to just create a, a brick wall looking pattern, I guess. So, it does sort of come together. And well, it does, it all comes together and I absolutely love the layout when it's finished. So if you have got 25 minutes up your sleeve, stick around because I'm going to explain a few things. Now, basically I wanted to use a really big title. Now you're probably looking at my white cardstock at the moment. I ran around the edge of it and put down a quarter inch strip of washi tape all the way around because I really do like a border around my pages and this particular one I knew that I didn't want to back this cardstock with more cardstock so and I knew that using my ink technique around the outside edge would probably not give me the crisp look that I'm after so instead what I did it did make with the process take a lot longer in hindsight if you get if you decide to do this do yourself a favor and don't do it the way I did it so you can do your pattern however you want to do but instead of putting that border around the edge trim your cardstock down when you're finished and that would have saved a lot of time because I was literally trimming down each piece you can see me here each piece i'm tracing it i'm cutting it i'm cut and that really did add a lot of time to this whole process and that's why i've sped it up so much because you know you get the whole idea with it but i wanted to leave the whole process in there so you could actually see how it all come together because i find that actually quite relaxing to watch when you see somebody's video and you watch it I quite often speed up videos when I'm watching them back and um, I quite like watching scrapbooking pages coming together really quickly. I think it's, it's, it's entertaining. Again, it's another quirky thing that I have. Now, something that I want to draw your attention to. It does not matter if you have got the latest 6x6 paper pad or whether you ha want to use up things that are in your collection. You might have half a dozen 12 by 12 sheets that all coordinate perfectly, but they overwhelm you to look at them in their entirety, like looking at one full sheet. And to be honest with you, that is what drew me to this particular collection. I love the color tones. I like buying things in six by sixes because 90% of the time the paper company will actually, um, they shrinky dink the, the patterns. That's what they do. So if you look at these, this exact collection, which is called um, Welcome Fall by Carter Bella, if you have a look at their 12 by 12 papers, all these patterns are larger they're, they're that is what they are now i prefer to work with smaller patterns or um for the for the want of like i guess i think i'm explaining that properly so don't mind my lunch that was my lunch i was stopping for a quick lunch break some strawberries and a sandwich now um so basically what i, I guess what i'm saying is 
if you've got 12 by 12s and you like the pattern but it's overwhelming cut it down six by six and then you know cut your cut some strips cut some shapes punch out some squares something like that so you can you still got the same amount of pattern there but it breaks it up to your eye and that's where I that's a little trick that I've sort of got my brain around and it's helped me get past busy papers because quite often in the past I have skipped over using lots of patterned papers because it, it basically it's look it scared me I'll be honest with you <laughs> I'm not a huge pattern person. My home is an older style home, but it is, my husband and I, we like a contemporary look, a modern contemporary look. So um, as far as that goes, that's, that's what I'm drawn to. So when it comes to lots of patterns, you know, that very cottage, cottage kind of feel, I, I'm, I'm not normally drawn to that, but this particular collection, it's just hit the sweet spot right at the right time, and I absolutely love it. I will be honest, I have also just done, I did, it was actually yesterday's layout, and it is the, I'll let you know what it's called because it's still sitting right next to me, it is the Simple Stories, Simple Vintage Country Harvest Collection. That one also, i got to say, I'm loving it. I'm loving the colours. It's just, and I know we're in summer here in Australia at the moment. I get that, but I'm just saying, you know, sorry. I have, my glands are really swollen today. I don't know why. I really hope I'm not getting sick. Not this close to Christmas. But every time I talk, it keeps hurting on one side of my neck. But that's okay. I'll get over myself. It's, it's going to be fine. So, now, as you can see, I'm just putting down strips. I would like to take this opportunity to let you know of a couple of things that, a couple of things I can't talk about yet, but coming in 2023, I'm going to be doing a few things a little differently, and I've got a few new things in the pipe pipeline and I'm going to be working on a couple of new I'm going to call them a series because I've got several videos in my mind so for me I'm going to call it a series if I have got six to ten ideas that I can do six to ten videos that to me I'm going to call a series okay so hopefully sorry I just got to have a drink sorry so sorry about that so there's a few different ideas that I'm sort of throwing around at the moment and you'll have to come back and you'll have to keep stay tuned if you are new to my channel I will let you know that in the description below I will have my Instagram and my Facebook group linked so if you click on the link you can pop over there and I'll add you into the group now I am there's a couple of things I can't really talk about just yet but I'm very excited 2023 is going to be it's going to be cool I'm, I'm really 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 excited and I have to be honest with you um I I did put something up on my Facebook wall and I did do a poll and for everyone that commented for me thank you so much you've helped me out a ton by giving me you know peace of mind and giving me your genuine feedback something I want to spell out at this point which is what is it today is the 13th of December it is 902 p.m. And when I'm doing this voiceover, so right at this pivotal moment, I can tell you that I will not be doing a Patreon subscription style anything. 
okay that is not the direction that I want to take my channel I what I have looked into and I'm going to be completely transparent about this I have looked into ways that I can potentially either earn an income and not and when I say earn an income I don't mean to pay off six mortgages that's not what I'm talking about what I'm talking about is earning enough money to see to to assist me in buying um supplies you know which I think that's something that all content creators reach a point with once you develop um enough people enough subscribers we really do need it to be sustainable financially for ourselves and I want to be a hundred and ten percent transparent about that so when I'm talking about monetizing my channel that is not to say that I want to charge you as a subscriber no that is not what I'm talking about what I want to make crystal clear is I'm talking about adding ads to my channel you know those ones that you can skip or if you um, have your sidebar open you might have like a an ad in the top corner that's the sort of advertising that I'm talking about that I can possibly gain a tiny little bit of money back in back in the kitty so to speak in order to order in in order to continue to buy supplies to continue making at least six videos a week so six videos that's six voiceovers that's six times the amount of supplies all of that sort of stuff and I also want to remain as relevant as possible with the newer stuff that comes out I'm not I'm not one that always jumps on the bandwagon to have the latest and greatest of everything but I think in order to keep everything fresh for everybody and I know there's a lot of people that would like to um, for example what I'm doing here you know I'm inking my title now that's just cut out on my Cricut and I'm just inking it up and I want to do it in three different colors now I'm just using an old paintbrush that I've cut down to make the bristles stiffer things like that I'll do things like that to save money so I can spend money on more distress oxides or oxide sprays or all that sort of thing so um, as far as that that's kind of where my my brains going okay guys so I just wanted to bring this into the loop and this is where I'm at with it now what else can I tell you I will have everything in the description below all the colors I've used all the papers I've used I will have all that listed below along with all my socials now I want to say a huge thank you to everyone that's given me feedback and I am I am going to um, click on monetizing and I am going to open it up to just to ads that's one way that I can possibly gain an income I also am looking at affiliate links I'm looking at all those sort of things but none of that is going to kick in until 2023 at some point and I still have a couple of other very exciting announcements as well that will once they're all finalized and everything's all ducks are in a row then I you guys will be the first to know let me tell you I'm so excited so I am currently just gluing my title onto my offset as you can see my title is gigantic why because as I said before sometimes when I print photos <laughs> it's a story in itself so I wanted to use a couple of big bold titles to go across the two pages so it draws your attention to the title and you don't notice how really busy the pattern is in the background as much 
Now, as you can see, I went around, I took off the washi tape, so I've got my white border. You've got that sort of chevron pattern going through the center. It's just all different. And then when I put my photos on top, now the photos, I didn't, I, I've left the white border around them because when I print my photos, I print on my Epson um, photo printer. It's an Epson XP8600 photo printer. And I print now with a white border because I have noticed that if I do that, it saves me on cost purely and simply doing, you know, mounting my photos on more white cardstock. That's just more money. So, and it adds more weight to your album. The other thing that I started doing as of yesterday is I am using, I'm trying to be a little bit more environmentally conscious in regards to the craft foam that I buy. So I'm now using my packaging boxes where I have them and when I've got them available to me. And I'm using those instead to raise my photos up because I've spent the money, I've got the order and the cardboard's sitting here and it's just going to go into the recycling. So I might as well use it. So, and it's actually a lot more stable, believe it or not. So I'm really, that's, I think that's a great move. If that's something you really want to think about, you know, your carbon footprint, blah, 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 give that a crack. It works a treat. Let me know. Let me tell you. Okay. So if you've stuck with me all this way, thank you so, so much for sticking around. All I'm doing now is putting down the title. Now I have actually had an issue with my camera and unfortunately, it has corrupted a little bit of my footage here at the end. So when you, if you pop over to Facebook, you can see exactly how much embellishing and stuff I actually did do on the layout that was corrupted. So my husband is feverishly working in the background to fix it all. And hopefully the next video, I don't lose any bits and pieces because I really hate chopping bits because it makes it look like I'm trying to condense it or something and I'm genuinely not. I my I actually record on a Canon camcorder and it goes to an SD card and unfortunately it decided to play up on me. I don't know whether it was the heat the other day. I don't know if it was something to do. Look, I'm not tech savvy at all. I leave all that up to my husband and he just explains it to me 75 times until I get it. And then, <laughs> and, and I'm not even joking when I say that legit, like not even kidding. So yeah. So you will notice that yes, there is a little bit on here, but when you look at the photos, there is a lot more. And I do manage to use quite a lot of those stickers up. I've kept those last few stickers and I have kept the last couple of strips that were not used because I am thinking I may be able to pull out one more layout, possibly. I mean, it is pretty much spent, but you never know. You never say never. So all these will be in the same, what's it called? Don't you hate it when your words just escape you and you're trying to do a voiceover and you're trying to sound really professional and like you've got it all together, really it's 10 past nine at night and your kids have gone to bed and your brain's just gone boggle boggle and it's done. So as you can see, the top row of photos is of Jennifer doing a somersault on the, on the trampoline and down the bottom she's doing a cartwheel and doing some handstands and you can see all the close-ups there. I did, the only inks I used were on the title so the background is just literally all six by six paper pad. And um, I absolutely love, if I haven't said it before, I'll say it again. The Cartabella papers are amazing quality. Amazing, amazing, amazing. If you've never tried them before, you need to have a look at them because they are awesome. So I will have everything listed below. If you haven't already liked, subscribed, all that fun stuff, I hate promoting like that, but it's the only way to make my channel 
continue to grow. Thanks so much for watching guys and I will chat to you again tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.